What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another DC Worlds Collide video. In this video, we're going over the tier list for May. Thank you, Justice League members, specifically Reapers Fury X for putting this together. Also, I wanna thank LK14, also known as Wanda Maximoff. He makes his own tier list, which we're also gonna be comparing, looking at in this video and comparing it to the last tier list from Justice League. Uh, Reaper's Fury X. If you're new to the channel, ninja kick the like button, subscribe for more content, and let's get into it. Okay, what you're looking at is a compilation of the two tier lists as well as last month's tier list. So in the top left, the big list that we see with the Justice League logo, logo that is the new tier list for this month uh, from Reaper's Fury X. Uh, this is the tier list that I generally will be using most of the time when I'm referencing the tier lists. Um, this is uh, a nicer looking tier list, um, but there is the nice thing about LK's list, which I've actually cut it up uh, so I could fit it on the screen. Um, is that he has their names written, uh, but no images. And he also has some other um, ways of identifying the character's uh, utility, so to speak. Uh, so we're gonna go over that a little bit and kind of do some comparisons. And then on the right, the old Justice League uh, tier list is there. So you can kind of identify some of the changes that have happened. Okay. Uh, Lex has moved up to S plus, and so has Killer Frost. In fact, um, yeah, Killer Frost was was much lower. I, I think that after some testing and after people have leveled things up more, um, they've realized just how viable she is. Uh, she puts out a lot of damage, and so she is basically plug and play staple. Um, the meta team is almost basically what you see in the S plus now. This is probably the most effective. The one thing I don't like about the top five there is that uh, you're not able to activate the um, resonance for uh, Green Arrow. So you have to kind of figure out what, how you want to make that work. Um, Constantine is still an S, even though he was uh, slightly nerfed, it wasn't enough to make a big difference. His kit is really, really good, um, so he stays up there. Um, did drop uh, Dr. Fate down from S to A, uh, which I think is um, warranted. Uh, Constantine and Dr. Fate, uh, very similar in the sense that they're blue AoE damagers. Um, Constantine is easier to get your hands on and rank up. And just the way that he works is and shines is, is better for most teams in general. So um, I would not be recommending going for Dr. Fate. Um, Deathstroke is still an amazing legendary in the S class. So if you are pulling on the new banner, um, Deathstroke is my recommendation uh, of those because you'll see that uh, Cyborg is in the A+. Plus. So of those three that are up there now, uh, Deathstroke is definitely the best based on the most recent tier list. Um, Zatanna has moved up because she basically gives everybody on your team a lifesteal, which is super, super useful. So she's a, a great tune. Um, you can see the rest are, are basically kind of the same uh, from what I mentioned on those top two tiers. We have uh, They have added Sinestro to the A-plus tier. Um, Two-Face has stayed there. Um, Two-Face uh, has some decent utility and some, um, some, some variable stuff. Uh, Grodd moved up to A+. Grodd's got a, only a two-cost ultimate that also uh, strips turn meter. Um, so he's a great early tank as uh, an epic um, if you can get him. Um, I know that I was wanting Grodd for quite some time because he he's also a gate to unlock Lex Luthor, um, which is also great. Uh, the other thing actually uh, I forgot to mention is that Superman has dropped down to the A-plus tier. Um, Superman is, you know, the burn tank. And since the burn team isn't the most effective team, um, that makes Superman not the most effective tank. Lex's shields are just really, really amazing. So um, most people are probably going to choose Lex over Superman. That being said, of the three, if you're new, a starter, it's either Flash or Wonder Woman that you want to go for. Um, I went with Wonder Woman. Sometimes I wonder if I should have gone with Flash because Flash does the strip the turn meter. And in turn-based games, you know, going first, going fast, 
generally gives you an advantage if you want to be competitive in PvP. So it's a coin toss for you there, maybe personal preference, uh, up, up to you. Um, Wonder Woman still hits really, really hard and adds crit to the whole team, so they both shine uh, for different reasons. Um, Wonder Woman does contribute to Green Arrow's uh, resonance, so um, that really helps out a lot for me. I'm, I'm always using Constantine, Green Arrow, and Wonder Woman for that resonance. And then I'm also using Lex for the shields, and then some type of healer. I've been using Raven a lot lately. She's A+. She's a plug and play. Um, but of course, Kid Flash is still probably one of the best healers in the game because he has such a huge heal to a single target. Plus he heals every time he does a basic attack. So really, really good healer there. Um, but I'm having fun using Raven because she does. she's the only character that has the revive. Um, Martian Manhunter is in now in the A tier because um, he's new. Uh, Batman has dropped down to B. Penguin has jumped up to A. Penguin has some really interesting viability. I haven't gotten too deep into uh, Penguin uh, myself. I don't have him. Um, I do use him sometimes in Elseworld, uh, but it's only kind of if he's one of the first choices. He's still not one of my first choices, um, but I think he's uh, very useful to the Poison team, but the Poison team is still not quite complete. Uh, that's uh, Poison Ivy, um, Scarecrow, and Penguin. So, you know, filling that out would be, you know, someone like Grodd um, or Lex, you know, depending on what you have accessible to you. Um, maybe Zatanna or Killer Frost or, you know, a healer like um, Raven or Kid Flash. Um, going B tier, C tier, it really does, those don't really matter. Um, Poison Ivy moved down because the Poison team's just not very good. You know, it just, it just doesn't do the trick. Um, Red Hood has dropped down uh, to the B tier. Uh, Red Hood is just okay. He's not bad, um, but he's not great. Um, I think that's about it. I think, oh yeah, Robin, uh, regular Robin dropped down um, from A to B. Um, take this, of course, with a grain of salt, but you know, Justice League is the biggest powered clan in the game. I know that Reaper's Fury at X, when he puts this together, he gets a lot of feedback from his clan mates. Uh, Jessica Cruz, also been added to the tier list, is in B tier. Um, she's Her shields are just not super huge. She does an okay amount of damage. There's just better characters to put on your team than using her. Um, but depending on what you're trying to do, there's maybe a situation in Elseworld where she fits um, based on what you have available. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, of course, Firestorm, still the worst uh, epic in the game. We don't have the mentionable or the honorable elites. And for new players, that is still very useful. So check out the last tier list video where he had the honorable elites in the in the previous tier list back in February. Um, I think those all still apply for new characters, uh, new players. Um, very, very good. And then in Broken Up, I have LKs over here. So flexible impact got a growth on the left bottom. We have True God, Demigrod. These would be like the S plus S tier. Um, he has a lot of the same characters up in there. Uh, I, he still sees Superman as a, as a true god, um, so it's a little bit different. Um, and he's got Lex Luthor in the high utility, but not in like the god tier. And then there's the mid utility and low, low utility. Uh, he does include elites in his tier list, LK14 uh, is his YouTube channel, so you can go check him out. I think he's Malaysian, I'm not sure. Uh, it's nice that he does put English text on his in his videos because his he does talking in, I think it's Malay. Um, Wanda Maximoff, if you're watching my videos, appreciate it. Um, if I'm wrong about you being Malaysian, I'm sorry. You can tell me where you're actually from in the comments below because <laughs> um, I do want to make sure I'm, I'm right about that. Um, so I do appreciate that of his. And he also explains all his symbols where he has the, the plus where they need support and the diamond with the team set, the arrow for in-battle growth, the stop sign or hexagon um, for the emblem that's usable, and then the other symbol for the resonance leader. So if you're having a team building a resonance. So he talks a lot about why he has given these characters those, for his opinion. So that's very, very useful. Um, I'll actually link LK's video in the comments down below. Reaper's Fury X, he has a YouTube channel as well, but he doesn't have probably any subscribers, and he's only got a few videos. 
um, and he hasn't done a video on his tier list, but you should definitely go support him because he is a huge uh, part of this community. He helps us out a lot. Um, so yeah, please, please go support those other YouTubers uh, for this game. Um, you, you guys know how to find them. They're, we're all available in the creator content section on the main Discord. I don't wanna keep talking your ear off. Um, you guys can find all this information out there, but I just want to give you my two cents, help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will be able to do another 200 diamond giveaway. So leave a comment with your favorite elite, the ones that are no longer on here, the honorable elites. If you have a favorite elite you like using for a new player, which one is like, oh, you got to use this one, um, or they're just extremely extremely useful let me know that in the comments down below we'll do another drawing because i have three uh 200 diamond codes to give out um i in the last video i started the first one this one will do a second one in the next video i will ask for more comments for a third chance at 200 diamonds not a lot but helpful to the account especially for new players thanks again for watching ninja kick the like button don't forget to subscribe for more content and we'll see you in the next video.